bit. There you go. Perfect. That's better. This is Jay Todd coming to you from Las Vegas, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by Casino Classic, a member of the Casino Rewards family. Casino Classic, the home of the internet's best online casino gaming. Howdy y'all and welcome to This Week in Gambling, Episode 4, A New Hope. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from our secret location somewhere in the South Pacific. Ah, the smell of the ocean air, the warmth of the sun on my skin, the sound of the seagulls and the ocean waves. They changed the frickin' background on me, didn't they? Yeah. Okay, listen, I, I have to apologize in advance in case there's breaking news that I, I'm not going to cover on this show because you see, I had to shoot this in advance as I am traveling this week on business. Currently, as you watch this, yours truly is on the floor of the Global iGaming Summit and Expo in San Francisco, California. Hopefully, while I'm there, I'm getting lots of great interviews and I can come back and share those with you. And speaking of interviews, in just a moment, we're going to be speaking with the chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission. Also, in the second half of our show, my good friend Peter Loshak will be joining us from SBR Forums to give us our sports betting updates, including what happened in the big UFC fight this weekend. But first, we've been speaking a lot about regulated online poker on this program. We've spoken about how Nevada is supposed to go live at some point in 2012 with intrastate online poker, and we've also spoken about how New Jersey has a vote coming up to see if they're going to allow online gambling in that state. But what about interstate online poker? That is, across state lines, with two people sitting at the same table, one in Indiana and the other in Louisiana. Now, New Jersey seems to believe that if they pass their gambling bill, they will be able to accept bets not only from across state lines, but from other countries as well. That fight remains to be seen. But what about the big boys in Nevada? I figured that the best person to ask about this topic would be none other than the chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission. And that's exactly what I did the last time I was in Las Vegas. Hello everyone, I'm here with Peter Bernhardt, the chairman of the Nevada Gaming Commission. Thank you so much for coming on with us. Uh, everyone out there watching, the Americans are chomping at the bit. They want to know about online gambling, and you, sir, are a good person to talk to. When will my friends in Duluth, Minnesota <laughs> be able to go on and play uh, at a Harrah's or a Caesars or an MGM Grand online? Well, it's very tough to predict. Of course, uh, we as regulators are trying to make sure we protect the public so your customers in Duluth know they're getting a fair game, that there isn't player collusion, their funds are going to be secure. So we have a system set up that will provide that protection. We're just waiting for the go-ahead. In trust state within Nevada, we're going to be ready to go within the next 12 months. Uh, in ter state, you've got a lot of federal rules to go through before that will be allowed. Anytime you get the federal government involved, it could take quite a bit of time, but uh, so well, people... are very conscientious about it too and trying to make sure that the, the regulatory protections are in place so we don't have any kind of disasters. Yeah, well, you know, if it launches, we want it to be safe, right? Uh, and so people visiting Nevada, maybe within the next year, will be able to have uh, in intrastate gaming here. That's very much within the framework of our regulatory structure. Whether it actually comes to pass or not, that'll depend on the operators and how quickly we get through their license applications. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. When we come back from the break, my good friend Peter Loshak from SBR Forums will be here to give us our sports betting update. Plus, we're going to spend just a moment talking about the NFL and casino ads. 
not going to want to miss that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and get our latest videos as soon as they're published. Visit youtube.com slash this week in gambling. A new era of online poker. AmericasCardroom.net. Play poker for free. All players welcome at AmericasCardroom.net. Play in ring games, tournaments, knockout tournaments, double or nothing sit and goes, and more. And more. AmericasCardroom.net. Join the next big thing. There was a story I didn't get to last week, but I wanted to talk about it now, involving the National Football League and casino advertising. As many of you may or may not know, the NFL here was a primary driving force behind the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act of 2006, which tried very diligently to outlaw all forms of online gambling in the United States. Now, uh, their reasoning at the time was that the prohibition of all online gambling was necessary to protect the integrity of their game. Yeah. Forget about stealing signals from other teams or putting bounties on players. Now, however, the NFL is going to allow gambling ads to run during its games on local radio stations and at certain spots within its stadiums. When asked about the apparent change of position, an NFL spokesperson, Brian McCarthy, said, there is a distinct difference between accepting advertising in a limited fashion and gambling on the outcomes of their games. One difference, Brian, is that now the NFL will get paid. For what else is going on in the world of sports betting, here's my good friend Peter Loshak from SBR Forums. Thanks, Jay. Well, the big news over the weekend was that John Bones Jones won easily over rival Rashad Evans in UFC 145. Jones was a huge favorite. He was about minus 500, which is often the kind of line where the books tend to see lopsided action in favor of the favorite and wind up needing the underdog to win to make some money. But in this case, it was the opposite, and most books actually made money with the Jones win. We do a video preview for every UFC here at SBR with Nick Kalikas, who's a leading MMA odds maker. And in our preview for 145 that we did with him, he told us that he actually intentionally set his lines, hoping to wind up needing uh, a win by Jones. The NHL playoffs are also in full swing, and we've been discussing betting them extensively on the forums at SBR, getting a lot of valuable input and debate. Some posters identified Nashville as likely to be a great first-round bet due to a stud goalie Pekka Rene playing at the top of his game, and that did turn out to be the case. The first-round series that are still pending are playing out right now. And looking ahead to the second round, there's been discussion at SBR that Phoenix has looked relatively weak in taking a three-games-to-two lead over Chicago, and that either team might be a good bet against facing Nashville in round two. That makes a lot of sense to me, so I'll personally be looking to bet Nashville to win their uh, second-round series, as well as looking them to have value in uh, individual games in round two. In general, though, the NHL capping discussions at SBR have been very valuable this season, so I encourage anyone looking to bet the NHL playoffs right now uh, to come check out those threads at SBR. In soccer, the semifinals of the UEFA Champions League is coming up, and that's going to be a very highly bet event by non-U.S. players. And in the U.S., the NBA playoffs start this Saturday, and the series lines uh, for those series should all come out by Friday morning. And also, now that the NFL schedules have been released, some sports books have actually put up very early week one NFL lines, which are interesting to look at and also can sometimes have great value and be significantly better than what the lines wind up being when the season starts. So you can find out what books have hung those early week one NFL lines at SBR and read handicapping analysis about the lines. We're already discussing them. So that's what's on tap in sports betting for the upcoming week. For SBRforum.com, I'm Peter Loshak. Back to you, Jay. That's one sexy man, I tell you what. <laughs> we'll see you all next week from the streets of San Francisco. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week with more This Week in Gambling. Hey, uh, <clears throat> SpongeBob, America, the world wants to know. You and Patrick, something's going on there, huh? A little, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right?
You heard it here first, folks. Back up there, happy pants.